key activities in the past year. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, good afternoon uh, to everyone. I'm pleased, indeed, to be here and uh, to be able in the following uh, few minutes to provide you with uh, highlights on the key achievements of the network of GH agencies. Uh, the network itself exists from 2011, and uh, since then it became a very practical tool and platform for cooperation between the GH agencies with one objective, to increase the overall added value and contribution of the agencies towards the EU member states. And in 2015, the network had, uh, uh, had established four priorities which aim to address the challenges uh, uh, faced by the European Union. In particular, those priorities were enhancement, further enhancement of the evidence-based input on the uh, policy dialogue at EU level, uh, continuously keeping the operational activities and contributions of the agency aligned with the uh, political priorities and the needs of the member states, fostering external communication of the network, and last but not least, increase of visibility of the JHA uh, agencies vis-a-vis -vis institutions and uh, uh, general public. Uh, all those four priorities, again, aimed to increase and develop further practical uh, contribution of the agencies in implementation of the uh, relevant policies in our policy area, as well as to uh, support the member states addressing unforeseen and unexpected challenges like uh, threats of terrorism and, uh, and uh, migration. Uh, the report of the agency has been, I believe, distributed to this committee, so I will not repeat again everything there, but I want to emphasize that all the results achieved by the network uh, through the year had very practical and particular purpose and contributed to address the EU priorities. I'll give you a few, few examples. Uh, first of all, uh, let me start with uh, one of the most visible initiatives uh, delivered last year, the Smart Borders Pilot. And that pilot, while EU LISA was uh, charged uh, to uh, deliver it, was actually product of cooperation between uh, four agencies, starting with FRA, which provided quite a uh, valuable contribution to, uh, from the perspective of effects of the technology on the fundamental rights, but also in and Europol. Going, going further, the, the network, uh, following the initiative of Eurojust, developed a toolbox with measures and uh, information products available to, in the GH area to support combat of uh, foreign fighters. Uh, networks, network, and uh, in particular five agencies of the network were uh, involved from the very beginning in planning and implementation of the hotspot conce concept, which is uh, now one of the major and most important tools of uh, handling the migration pressure in Europe. Uh, EU Lisa Frontex and EASO uh, delivered another pilot project in Greece, which was looking for on practical uh, uh, ways from technical and operational point of view to increase efficiency of implementation of uh, hotspots. Significant efforts were uh, also put in the area of uh, capacity building and trainings. Just to mention, last year the Joint Master on Border Management was launched, launched. the law enforcement uh, schema was further developed, and also trainings in the area of Schengen evaluations. And all those trainings were intended to address the practical needs of the member states to address the threats of terrorism, to address the migration pressure, and their, their uh, national priorities. Uh, the list can be prolonged, but I'm conscious about the time and the interesting debates that uh, uh, happened so far, so I will not uh, go on. But uh, to conclude, uh, it's important to emphasize that uh, cooperation between GH agencies was and will be an important factor in delivery of timely and uh, practical responses to the present challenges that uh, uh, Justice and Home Affairs and EU as a whole faces today. And in this respect, I'm confident that uh, the uh, achievements in 2015 will be further developed and, and extended uh, in 2016 under the chairmanship of uh, FRA of the network. Uh, last but not least, to address the present challenges that uh, EU faces as a whole, 
in the area of migration, uh, terrorist threats. Uh, there is a strong need of interoperability standards, synergies at technical and operational level. And in this respect, the GHA agencies have a wealth of experience and knowledge, and they are committed to continue their strong support and proactive contribution uh, to develop efficient and uh, timely practical responses to, to those threats. Thank you. And, of course, I'm ready to answer questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr.